upstairs I don't never let you down I Ain't no can wait Tell me what we do now What's good, young A's? Today, I got a video showing y'all the best playmaking badges so you can become a dribble god. Simple. <laughs> but I'm trying to get y'all right, man. Y'all know I'm gonna give y'all nothing but gems, you feel me? Nothing but gems. So I look, let's not waste any time, bro. Let's get straight into it. So first, we got Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker. I'm gonna read the description and then explain why I use it. I'm, not, I'm trying not to take too long, so please try to keep up with me. Um, when performing step backs and other certain moves, the defender stumbles or falls more frequently when biting the wrong way. So look man, Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker does work, Ankle Breaker does work. I get consistent ankle breakers, like consistent, like maybe like every other game or something like that. I'll get a few good ankle breakers, you know what I'm saying? If you watch my videos, you see that I get ankle breakers. I, it's no lie, bro. No cat, I think they boost it. But put it like this, it's more frequent now. It happens a lot more, you know what I'm saying now, than it used to, like a few like a few months ago, like at the beginning of 2K especially. So definitely put on ankle breaker if you had a badge points. But yeah. And also this is my two slash playmaker with 20 playmaking badges. If you couldn't see right there. But next we got Gold Bello. Passing out of a jump shot or a layup yields fewer air and passes than normal. Look, y'all. So whenever you have the ball and you're and you like say you're about to shoot it or drive or whatever, and somebody closes out, instead of you having to take a contested shot, cause we all know pump fakes don't work. Instead of you having to take a contested shot, you can just dodge your teammate. Like and then you dot him instead of it going out of bounds, um, or you know it being a turnover, it goes to your teammate wide open shot green every time. I hope you feel what I'm saying. So. This bash can literally be game winning because that's one less possession you, you know what I'm saying, that you wasted. Or one less turnover you wasted, you know what I'm saying. But you know, if you play basketball, you know turnovers are crucial. Next, handles for days Hall of Fame. A player takes less of an energy hit when performing consecutive dribble moves, allowing them to chain together combos quicker and for longer periods of time so y'all know if you're any type of dribble if you're the main ball handler if you're you know what i'm saying if you iso whatever if you are if you dribble if your play style is based around you dribbling the ball a lot or handling the ball a lot handles for days is essential because you got to understand your stamina drains quick in this game stamina is horrible um i personally have double gatorade but if you don't have double gatorade you definitely need hands for the hall of fame or go whatever badge you get and I would definitely, if you want to be like an ISO guy, you want to get clips, double Gatorade, hand us for the Hall of Fame, go crazy. Or go, like I said, if you're Officer 3rd or something like that, um, yeah, put it on go because you don't get Hall of Fame. Next, Hall of Fame quick first step. When driving out of a triple threat or after a size up, ball handlers have an access to quicker and more effective launches. So basically, when you do like any type of cross, like any move that like projects you forward, you're that much faster. So this year, you don't need an 86 ball control, this quote unquote speed boost. All you need is quick first step, go to Hall of Fame, and a decent ball control to be able to be the main ball handler. Like bro, most of the time, mo like majority of the time, people really can't dribble. They just know how to use their badge correctly they know how to use quick first step all they gotta do is hit very simple moves and then it gives them that speed boost which is kind of hard to guard if they're kind of unpredictable in their movement if you can feel what i'm saying so basically quick first step y'all should know what it do if y'all know what it does if you play this game but if you're a newer just know it, gets, it helps you speed boost essentially <clears throat> tight handles hall of fame Increases a player ball handling ability in size of situations, making it easier to break down the on ball handler. So this is like, I remember if you remember at the beginning of the year, you can do the aggressive behind the back and the defender will be stunned. But that's not a thing anymore. So now it's we, like, say you guard somebody that keep doing misdirection behind the screen or whatever, you'll realize your player gets stunned a little bit, like for like a sec, a half a second or a second or so. When your player gets stunned, if you have the right badges, they can easily pull back and shoot it or drive, whatever. But that's what tight handles do. Tight handles get stuns 
on certain moves so that's why i run tight handles and ankle breaker because if you don't get your ankles broke you're gonna get stunned by that tight handles if you don't get stunned by that tight handles you're gonna get hit by that ankle breaker i don't need tight handles to score i just think it's that i gotta put it on there because like, i'm not using nothing else you feel what i'm saying so i don't need tight handles but i have it on just because i know what it does and how much it how much more it could help me if needed you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what Ty Handles does if you were wondering. Last but not least, Unpuckable. When performing dribble moves, defenders have a tougher time poking the ball free with their still attempts. Now, look, the you know, you might be like, bro, why don't you have this on Golden Hall of Fame? Look, dude, you get ripped the same no matter what tier or whatever, but no matter what level you have Unpluckable on, you will still get ripped the same. Dude, like, how frequently you get ripped is based upon like just having the badge or not and then the only difference between hall of fame and bronze is this when you're when somebody's famous square and you got hall of fame it'll be a foul when it's bronze it won't be a foul you just keep getting the animation of you like snatching the ball back like protecting the ball you feel what i'm saying so that's really the only difference i've seen um i still get ripped with hall of fame applicable so it ain't no like lifesaver or nothing that badge barely works it's not very consistent you know what i'm saying but yeah man that's gonna wrap up today's video i love and appreciate it. every single one of y'all man we so close to 200 and then we on that road to 1k so man i love and appreciate every single one of y'all man look man let's go crazy bro you know what i'm saying like share and subscribe if you're new and i'm out